Hello, welcome back. For those of you uh, who've checked out my channel before, and to uh, some of the uh, subscribers that I have, uh, I'm going to continue this with the homebrew races using the advanced race guide from Pathfinder. And this is sort of a uh, continuation and also kind of uh, separating from that as well. Uh, to a um, to the half undead uh, race build video that I uh, put up on my channel. Uh, one of my fellow players, fellow GM and fellow YouTuber, uh, Goblin Bait, he uh, made a comment on my uh, half undead race builder there and uh, suggested it would be a good setting for it in uh, Geb. So I thought about that one and uh, I've been a little preoccupied with Jade Raj and, and with the uh, distinct world um, climates and such and that in that, that campaign I've been sort of focused all my time on that and I had to kind of uh, refresh myself on uh, Geb. Uh, I remember reading it quite a bit back when I was doing Leg Legacy of Fire uh, just because some of that tied in with that uh, not really uh, the lands and such but uh, the rival wizard king to Geb which was uh, Nex uh, some lore was uh, presented in, in that adventure path and I went through and read about Geb again, and I'm just amazed and surprised that Pathfinder hasn't added something with this to the modules uh, or the adventure paths. I've checked out quite a few of them, so I haven't seen that in any of them, but uh, just reading it all, it's very uh, entertaining, and I'm just surprised I haven't seen it. But uh, just kind of going with Geb. Um, the race that I'm going to do, just like with your uh, different distinct uh, human types that you have, such as the Kelishite, Osirian, uh, Gurundi, Varsian, Ulfin, Voldrani, I think, I'm sorry if I'm not pr pronouncing that right, but... I'm going to go with Gebite as this particular race that's going to be homebrew. I believe at one point they were probably Osirian or Kelishite or whatever, but uh, due to the uh, history behind Geb, I'm going to kind of modify that uh, just to kind of go with Geb for a minute here. It is a realm within uh, Pathfinder, or the world of uh, the Galer uh, Gal uh, Galarian world there. Um, basically, Nev, there was two feuding uh, nations, Geb and Nex. And they were in a sort of legendary arcane struggle that engulfed the east coast of Garand in a millennium of catastrophe with uh, magical warfare. Both of the uh, nations were just ass assaulting each other uh, due to two rival wizard kings. One was Nex, the other was Gebd. And the land between the two uh, suffered the most damage, becoming a uh, wasteland of magical corruption. And tens of thousands of people had died uh, due to the magical uh, assaults that one would lead amongst the other. And this one, particularly Geb, there was a wizard king named Geb. And due to the thousands that had died of his people, uh, he brought them back, animating their bodies, all his slain subjects, and uh, legions of walking dead emerged. And death has just taken over this nation. Uh, the wars have 
uh, since ceased. Uh, the disappearance of one wizard king and the uh, reclusiveness of the other. And uh, we're kind of in the present state today where uh, there's a vast majority of the uh, citizens that are uh, either intelligent undead or undead, so that could be a mixture of uh, skeletons, ghouls, gas, uh, race, vampires. Uh, there is a little bit of living humanoids there, but the uh, vast majority of them are undead. <clears throat> and what's interesting about Geb is that uh, they have a zombie harvested crops. They use that as the nation's uh, diet. <laughs> so they use that to uh, feed upon since they are primarily undead. And they usually uh, harvest their zombie crops for uh, an exchange of all manner of goods and certain rare components used to further the uh, nation's study into the art of uh, necromancy. So this is a very uh, undead-inspired um, nation, and uh, a lot of the intelligent undead uh, gain a lot of the benefits of if they were alive in a sprawling uh, city, while the uh, living humanoids there um, become marginalized as the years go, go by. So it's a decree there that all immortals who die upon Geb soil are reanimated as mindless undead, to serve as slaves or for other uh, ambitious purposes to the nation of uh, Geb. It's a uh, undead di dictatorship. So going back to the race now, I'm gonna do a. Uh, Gebite, and I'm gonna use uh, parts of the half undead um, race subtype that I used in the previous video with the half undead. So just feature them like you would another uh, human uh, type. Of course, these would be the half dead, half undead, I mean. So uh, it's going to be five racial points for that, for the type. Uh, for the size, we're going to go with medium since they are primarily or for, formerly human. So zero racial points there. Base speed, I'm going to go with normal. Um, I'm kind of basing most of this off of the uh, ghoul featured in uh, Beast Theory 1. And so following the sort of, uh, I imagine most of them are going to be ghouls uh, since they have a dietary supplement of undead. They're going to be feeders of flesh. So I would imagine most of them are primarily going to be uh, ghouls. And so that's my primary framework that I'm going to build this up from. So normal speed. As far as the ability score modifiers go, I'm going to go with the uh, weakness type. So that'll be a negative one on the uh, race points, which will be uh, plus two to dex, plus two to wisdom, and minus four for charisma. Charisma being that they obviously are undead with ghoulish features, uh, rotten uh, appearance. So imagine uh, their charismatic ways are very challenged. And just going off of the uh, Beast Theory uh, stats, looking at the uh, statistics of the ghoul, I see that their strength is up slightly above average. Uh, their dex is very good. So I'm going to give these, so I gave them a plus two for their dex. Their speed is normal, so uh, they have uh, nimble limbs, uh, quick reflexes. So I'm kind of going with that theme with the uh, decks and such. So they wouldn't have that sort of undead uh, slow gait to their walk. And intelligence 
above average. So is wisdom and charisma, but just kind of uh, reflecting this to a player character um, selection. Um, I went with the plus two to wisdom and then the minus four for charisma, as explained. So on to languages, I'm going to give them standard. You could do xenophobic. Uh, standard if, you know, basically common, but if they retain the former um, language from before, if they were Syrian or Kellish, maybe you could add that on there. And then, you know, given their intelligence, you can add, you know, more languages on there. So zero racial points. For either one that you choose to do. Defense racial traits. Um, due to the half dead or half undead, I keep giving two different names there with the same meaning. The undead resistance and the resist level drain are a part of the half undead type, so there is no weighted um, racial points for that. So. Those are pretty much given. Now, there's a couple options you have where you can swap two different things out here. I'll get to that right now. Feats and skills racial traits. You can give them the stalker skill trait. Since they're fast, they're lift, and their movements. Um, you could... Uh, Kind of go one step further there and uh, say that they are um, very stealthy and perceptive. So with the stalker there, you can uh, choose perception and stealth. Uh, they're always uh, class skills for members of the Gebite type of race there. Now if you don't like that or uh, you want, uh, maybe they transcend more to that ghastly um, aspect where they uh, feed upon uh, corpses that uh, what the nation provides so most of their other senses are dull or numb compared to this uh, hunger this desire this intoxica uh, intoxication that just overwhelms them to uh, just, just the uh, compelling nature to uh, eat upon the flesh. So if you want, you can give them carrion sense. Uh, you can replace that with the uh, stalker trait if you want. And with the carrion sense... Apologize for the delay here. It's one racial point, so you a stalker one, so they're easily uh, interchangeable. Uh, so with the carrion sense, uh, get bites have a natural ability to sniff out carrion. This function is like the scent ability, but only for corpses and badly wounded creatures. Creatures with a 25% or fewer hit points. So, that's one option there you can uh, choose to elect for your uh, type. On to offense racial traits. Going with the theme of the ghoul. The Gebite, uh, their natural ability to attack with claws and their bite. So the bite's one racial point on page 232. The claws, page 235, and it gives a weight of two for the cost. And then you can use the bestiary, uh, page 302, and the bestiary one to uh, go with your damage code for um, both the bite and the claw. Claws, I should say. There's going to be two of them. And given the nature of the bite and the consistent nature of the ghoul, bite carries the disease. So I'm going to go with the toxic ability listed on page 235. And I'm going to get into a little bit of discussion about this. Just because it needs a modification on what I'm going to select for it. The Toxic, um, it's similar to those. Uh, it's a newer race. The uh, Vishkana, 
I'm saying that right. They have uh, extreme use in poisons and such, such as coating their blades with poison. Of course, I'm not going to do that. It's going to be injected through the uh, bite, just like the ghoul does. But they give a couple uh, different types that you can use for the venom when the injury occurs, so the venom can be unleashed upon that victim. I'm going to modify it just because uh, it's going to be a disease which would be different than the codes listed on here for the uh, damage. So it's normally one racial point. I'm going to bump it up to two. And with that, instead of just delivering one type of damage as suggested in the toxic ability in the uh, race builder section there, I'm going to give them the uh, what's actually listed for the ghoul. So we're going to get that uh, ghoul pox. So when they bite with their uh, their fangs, teeth, whatever, um, you'll get the uh, con and dex damage. So. So that's almost about it. Um, senses, we got dark vision, that's given under the half undead, so there's no weighted cost for that. Weakness, racial traits, they're going to have that negative energy affinity where uh, negative energy heals them, where and then of course uh, positive energy would harm them. And in Geb, it is, uh, you're not allowed to uh, use positive energy there. So that's flavors it quite well. And if I were to just to add these all up, get the five last one four. We're at uh, ten. Ten racial points now. Uh, so this brings that into the standard category. So we've already achieved um, the distinct culture type of the uh, humans, and this being the Gebites. That has been, their race has been modified due to the uh, necromantic effects. And I'm going to also talk about a couple other things real quick here. If you want, you can swap out the toxic ability to inject the uh, disease, what you can do as alternative racial traits, you can take out the toxic part and give them the stench aura, and that's actually in the um, race builder section of the advanced race guide as well. That's on page two thirty four, and with that, retaining more of gas, um, the stink of depth and corruption surrounds them, overwhelms them, and grants the stench extra extraordinary ability. So you can uh, choose that one. A terrible scent. And this one says in a 15 foot aura. But with the gas, it gives a 10 foot. And the stench aura already is at like a cost of 4. I'm going to drop that cost down and use what the gas actually suggests here with the uh, 10 foot aura, just so we can kind of stay away from the uh, overpowered bits of this. So I'm going to raise, reduce that cost down to where it can be easily. Uh, interchangeable with the uh, toxic. So it just depends on how much of the Gebite, uh, depend on which ones have uh, embraced their uh, unna unnatural um, death. And the other one I can introduce as a alternate racial trait is a benefit for eating all that flesh. 
Uh, you can either do once or three times per day. Um, the Gevite may spend at least 10 minutes consuming human white flesh. Doing so, you can regain a number of hit points uh, equal to your character level. So that's one other added feature I'm going to put on there. If they embrace that more, they can, you know, be the uh, eaters of flesh. Or maybe that your particular get by character is trying to stay away from that, was forced to become undead, uh, feels nauseated, but also enticed by it, and has this internal struggle. So you can... Uh, Decide which way you want to go with that. Introduce that as an alternate if you if you wish. And the last part would be since the society nation, um, they're kind of a leader in the uh, world with the necromantic arts. And as a alternate racial trait to swap out to toxic once again, you can go with uh, gebite magic. Where um, their study of the art, or just maybe the bestial feeding, uh, that could may perhaps manifest a uh, latent necromancy magic within the Gebite, where they would get a racial trait to add plus one to the DC of any saving throws against necromancy spells that they cast. Uh, they can also, probably if you want, you can have, have, have them cast Bleed once per day, so spell-like ability. The caster level of the effect is equal to the character level of the Gebite. Uh, you can make the DC for the spell equal to 10 plus the spell level plus the charisma modifier but you know there's already a negative to that so you can uh, move that around quite a bit or if you want you can introduce something where um, they're more dead than they are alive or unalive however you want to uh, throw that around. Or you could get like a, maybe a plus two racial bonus on saves versus enchantment, bleed, death effects, paralysis, sleep, and stun effects. So we're kind of going towards that undead uh, type, but because we're in the confines of the half undead, uh, you could try to give them some sort of bonuses if they were to, were to try and uh, cross over to the uh, type known as undead in the race builder section. Um, of course you would go well beyond your means if you were to choose the undead type where you're going to 16 racial points so you're looking at a advanced to let me get back to that. advanced to a monstrous power level. So it just depends if you want to do the half undead for your type, or if you want to embrace it even more, if uh, you're doing sort of maybe a epic campaign and want to do the undead type. So uh, I hope you like that. I was uh, very fascinated by the comment that uh, Goblin Bait posted on there, and it just revitalized uh, my connection again to Geb and. I felt this vi video was needed to bring out more of a ghoul-like um, race that was consistent with the other types of the uh, human cultures. So, uh, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to let me know. Uh, maybe your insight might bring about a revision to this. I will uh, get to posting the uh, normal stuff I put on there, uh, the description of the video below. So you'll see some updates on, on that from time to time if I happen to make a revision or whatnot. Uh, feel free if you have uh, a request for 
a uh, race that you would like to see built. Maybe you have one that you've already worked out, but would like maybe some critiques with it or some revisions. Um, I'm going to work on some other races. <clears throat> I think I'm going to put a couple in the front here of the long line of things I have built up for this section of the uh, homebrew races. I'm looking at doing uh, the Mwangi Expanse. I know we have the Venaras, Venarans. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right, but the uh, Simeon race. But uh, I was intrigued by the uh, ape race that they have as well, and then those flying ape ones. So I may be, I may do a uh, tier like uh, race type for for those. Starting off with the regular Sim uh, Simeons, then the um, uh, intelligent awakened apes and then those other ones that have the wings. I I wish I could th have the name for that right now but I don't but uh, check out the uh, subsequent videos that will follow this one um, in a few days time, week time, whatever uh, check that out, let me know what you think and uh, thank you as always for your time. See ya.